Hello YouTube, hello subscribers, hello friends. Now, throughout the time, the last 10 years or so, well actually longer than that if you really want to go and think, but specifically in the last 10 years, we've noticed something here in the country. Movements would rise and fall, wanting to take down all this tyranny against the people. The Tea Party was bought out by the Koch brothers and the Occupy movement. Well, it just fell dramatically. The media went out and said that they were just a bunch of bums who didn't want to work. When I me, mean, I've talked to many of these people who have been in the Occupy movement. They wanted fair wages, they wanted fair, fair treatment. And I'm noticing that this is one of those times in the United States where we need people to stand up. Why aren't there any revolutionaries out there? Well, I've also done a video on that on my channel, Flip the Angry Asian, with the five reasons why there's not. But one of the main reasons why is because no one wants to be the revolutionary who lives in their mother's basement due to the economy. Well, I still live with my parents, I live in the top floor because I cannot find a job. Because I cannot progress in the way that the American dream wants us to. The American dream where you go out, you find a job, you live your life happy, you maybe if you want to have a family, you can do whatever you want so long as it does not bring harm to anyone. <sighs> and what do we see? Every single time a major law that would remove our rights and freedoms is done when no one's paying attention to it. They're always trying to distract us with something. The National Defense Authorization Act was passed on Christmas Eve. You look at all these fools, what do they do? Give you 30 days of things like Taylor Momsen and oh, is she a Satanist? Beyonce's ass at the Super Bowl. Talk about something big and breaking. Oh wait, we have breaking news. Something that's really important. Oh no, we have breaking news. We have the video of Justin Bieber getting patted down. We're going to play that for the next 30 minutes while you forget about what we were talking about earlier. Now, I'm sick of this. I am tired of this. And so, I decided that since if you make peaceful revolution impossible, you make violent revolution inevitable. I'm a patriot and I love my nation. I still think there's a chance for peaceful revolution. And that's what I want to work on. <sighs> I don't want it to come to guns, but that choice does not belong to me. It does not. I believe that with the idea that I've talked to many of my friends, many of my YouTube subscribers, I'm starting this thing known as the Fallout America movement. Originally start off as just a political channel, just, you know, sort of like what Flip the Angry Asian turned into. <sighs> but, Fallout America. We got a Facebook page that's up now. We're going to soon have a website. I mean, a few friends have started working on a mission statement. Nothing's official yet. I'm also working on a t trailer for a documentary. I know a few months back I failed at making a documentary because I couldn't get the funding for it. But to hell with monetization. I'm going to use this copyrighted material. So long as I give credit, it's perfectly legal. Now, that being said, I want my subs to help me out with this on all of my channels. I'm working on this. I believe that peaceful revolution is still possible. Violent revolution? That's not my choice. It's not. And I have no... I do not condone any violent action against the government. It's not time for that, should it ever come to that. And I don't believe it needs to. However, I do believe that we're in the critical moments where if we do not make peaceful revolution possible, if it does not happen, then someone's going to pull the trigger. I love my country. I love America. People ask me what my race is, I'll tell them that I'm Asian. People ask me my nationality, 
I tell them I'm American first and foremost. I hold on to my American side more than I do anything else. I love my country more than I loved any of my girlfriends, any of my family members. And to see this sickness, this disease, these issues, this loss of freedoms, this deteriorating economy because of a few assholes in government who want to make a couple extra dollars, I'm done with that. And I want you guys to help me. I want you guys to join me. I want you all to join in on this movement. I'm putting a mission statement together. I'm putting a trailer together for the documentary that I'm going to be working on soon. And I've recently begun work on the website. <sighs> I want you all to help me. Because this cannot be done alone. I'm no Julian Assange or Alex Jones. I want this country to be back where it should be. And I want the power to be back where it should be. In the hands of the people. We see the laws these days. They bend and stretch to work for what? Special interest groups and corporations. I want the grounds laid down flat. I don't care if you're black white, man, woman, tranny, I don't care. Everyone should have the same amount of privilege and everyone should be treated the same. No corporation, no skin color. And I'm saying this as a minority who gets a lot of these special privileges. Yeah, I can get paid to go to college, but is that right? That I should get special treatment and even though I'm a lazy bastard most of the time, some white guy who maybe tr have tried to get into college many, many times gets denied because I, a lazy bastard who didn't really try all that hard in school, maybe decide, hmm, I'm going to go to college. I don't think so. I think the grounds need to be laid down flat. And that's what this movement's about. Bringing America back to where it belongs. In the hands of the people. Not in the hands of corporate interests not in the hands of special interests where the people are truly equal and everyone has the same amount of privilege no one gets treated special that's what I want and I want you guys to help me so please join me tell your friends about this movement let's talk about it let's start gathering funds because yeah, I want it to be something big. And I want to be able to bring people to Washington so that we can make sure that our Senate, that our House of Representatives, that our President knows we are not very happy. As such, I leave you with that. Let me know what you think. If you're interested in helping out, I want you to privately message me on my on any channel that I have this video uploaded on. I want to bring about the next American Revolution, but this cannot be done alone. I want this country back in the hands of the people. And if you are like me, a patriot, an American, or an immigrant who loves the American way, who wants to become an American, and knows that there's something wrong with this nation, then I want you to join me. Private message me. I'll talk to you later. Have a nice day.